Okay. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm here with the lovely Patty. We just prepped her nails, so I'm just giving them a good wipe with nail prep. And uh, so we moved to her old color right at the half hour mark, even though I started a few minutes late, so we're doing good. All right, so I am going to do one step fill, which means I'm using Trinity. So a new bottle, yay! Yesterday, scraping, scraping the bottom of the barrel. And my handy dandy, well-loved 106 brush. Still doing all right, holding in there. Okay, so here we go. So this is completely prepped. I didn't have to um, use any primers or anything. And just a very thin coat over her nail. Sometimes the coat is so thin that when I'm removing, I remove um, like all the gel in there. So like that pinky just didn't even have anything left from the last time because I just keep this coat so thin. So it's totally fine. And with Trinity, I normally will do at max two nails before I'll freeze it because it runs and then I get mad. So two seconds in the light. One, two, come back. And that's enough to keep it from moving. And that is what is important. Hi, everybody. Hello again, Jody. Jody said the nicest thing this morning. She said, what did you say, Jody? I think she said something like, when clients come to see her, it's their therapy. But when she watches me, it's her therapy. That nice. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I remember. Nice comments like that. It's lovely. So nice and easy. If you have someone that has lifting, you can mess with primers, but um, she doesn't get anything, so piece of cake. Make sure that it's nice and thin on the free edge. And line of light looks good. And we're gonna freeze two seconds. One, two, okay. And the thumb. And just coat around the cuticle and glide over. And the trick of this is to make sure your brush isn't up and down like this. This is bad. You wanna keep it flat. So as you glide it over, you're floating over your coat. Because if your brush is straight up and down, you end up pulling your product off and getting divots. You want it to be completely smooth. All right, in she goes and she can stay. And we'll move to the next one. With Trinity, um, if you don't have a light that has a slow on, then you'll want to have them only go in for two seconds and then come out, because that's when it gets hot, and then they can go back in after um, a few seconds. But it has a very quick, um, not a major heat spike, but it's fast, so you can prevent it by just a quick in and out, no problem. Don't push, am I too high? No, you're fine. I'm just reading. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. I'm like, your hand is coming closer to me. I'm Sorry. not pulling it. <laughs> <laughs> you can read out loud if there's something that I should know. In for two seconds. If anyone says, I'll take it though. Nope, not me. Oh, I thought it was you, Jody. Someone said something nice earlier. I thought it was you. It's, you were watching though, so maybe that's why, because I glanced up and saw it. Now I'm gonna have to go back and like look at my comments from this morning's video and see who the heck it was. And thank them instead, because it was so nice. Okay, again, brush off the end. This is with any gel when you do your, when you do your fill, you wanna brush off the end, make sure that you don't um, have too much. Checking line of light, double checking the first one. I always, with this product, will double check the first one because it's crazy. Okay, come back. Heather says, I so want to try Trinity. You really should. I mean, other than it being runny and me having the flash cured all the time, it's really quite a perfect gel. Um, I'm not a super big fan of flash curing, but for so many people, that's just how they've always worked. So it's no big deal. 
Um, for me, I've always used a thicker gel and not had the flash cure, but getting a little bit more used to it is just not my favorite. So her thumb has a really high natural arch, so you just have to be careful to make sure that um, the product's not too thin and that my, my arch actually starts back a little bit higher on this one, just so that as it grows out, it looks correct. Okay, go ahead, and that one's done. All right, so that's her fill. Easy peasy, only takes 30 seconds to cure. And we're gonna go to color, so I'm gonna give you a quick preview. These are the new clear holographic foils that I have that are super exciting. So we're gonna be using one of those. And um, the color I'm using on her is Pulse. It's a really true orange, which may not come out true orange in these cameras because the lighting, no matter how much light you throw at these things, it never quite comes out perfect. But um, it's a great color. If you don't have this for especially October, I mean, I go through a load of it in October with Calypso. Calypso is a sparkly orange, and so it's really fun to layer. You can put a coat of um, Pulse and then a coat of Calypso, and it makes a perfect sparkly orange, which is really nice. Her ears perked up. Sparkle? <laughs> what? What did you say with the sparkle? Mm -hmm. She had on neon orange before this. I talked her into it. <laughs> I don't think you'd ever gone that bright, had you? Mm -mm. No. No. Shock, which is like the neon orange. It's pretty fun. But she does like, she does good with oranges and golds. Apricot sparkle is a favorite. So we do a lot of, um, a lot of glitter fades with Miss Pat. Do, 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 do. So we were talking and uh, when we were prepping and she just went and swam with bull sharks. No, whale sharks. Whale sharks. Really different. Bull sharks are yeah, a little aggressive. Yeah, bull sharks are scary. <laughs> Sorry, totally different. And then she picked a show and we were watching and that's what they had on there was whale sharks. And how crazy is that? Um, I have not swam with sharks as of yet, but... Someday I might be crazy and do it. My husband, on the other hand, absolutely will not. So if I go, maybe it'll be on like a nail cruise or something and I'll go with much better nail techs. So my husband will just, I don't even know that he would go out on the boat. Mm. Sharks are not his thing. It's pretty funny. It's like his one fear, which is hilarious. <laughs> and I'm like, did you, like I saw arachnophobia at far too young of an age. So me and spiders do not get along. So if we're at camp and there's a spider, I might call you over to kill it, whoever you are in the room, <laughs> because that might require me getting closer to it, and that's just probably not going to happen. So I think he maybe have watched Jaws at too young of an age. I don't know. <laughs> but I've been trying to introduce my daughter to, like, classic movies, and I'm like, oh, I should watch Jaws, but, like, you know, for us, it was good, but the CGI nowadays, it's like, that's scary, what? It's like, <laughs> yeah, come on, help us out. Just going to make sure that that little bit there does not. So some of you wonder, with my drawers, I've had a couple questions, how do I have a drawer set up? I have a, um, I have a little tray that holds my orange wood sticks and I just put my brush the 106 that I use all day every day just right on top of them so when I'm ready to start my client I grab a brush and a stick so that's kind of the main thing is that they're right there together yes this is pulse true orange as true as true can be when it comes to orange did you know colorblind people don't see orange no like people that are red, green, colorblind, they don't see orange. It's fascinating. I got the glasses for my cousin. I can't wait to show them to him. But, um, yeah, I was watching some of the videos, which, you know, if you want a good cry, watch the videos of people seeing color for the first mm. time. And um, But there was a picture I saw of, like, uh, pumpkins, mm -hmm. like a pumpkin patch. 
and the pumpkins and the leaves are all the same shade of like kind of brownish mm. grayish like they don't even really see brown properly because brown has red in it mm. but um yeah it's all like the same tone and so they really never see orange so sad. it is sad i mean it's crazy and so the fact that there are glasses if i i wish my dad was still alive because oh I would have loved for him. He loved flowers and stuff, but he never saw them. Not like we see them. And I just think he just, he would have been one of the people crying. No doubt. But I had a client who I didn't know was colorblind. And she's not totally colorblind. She's like a little bit colorblind. And I was telling another client, I was like, hey, I got these glasses for my cousin. She's like, oh, you should have Karen try them on. I'm like, what? She's colorblind? What are you talking about? And so... She came in, I'm like, gotta try them on. She's like, ooh, exciting, these glasses. Because she had heard about them, but she hadn't tried them. And she's not super colorblind. What she can't do is really tell the difference between different browns. Mm. So, like, a brown with more red doesn't really look any different than a brown without red. Mm. But then when we went outside, she said everything was just, like, up a notch. Like, much more vivid. So, that's pretty cool. All right, so stick it is your friend and a requirement in life if you're gonna be doing foils. So, my stick it is getting low, but I still have plenty. All right, out you come. And we're gonna go straight over the orange with the stick it. And this, you can keep your brush. See how I'm keeping my brush straight up and down this way? Because I don't need a lot on here. So it can take off the stick it as I put it on. Does that make sense? I'm not having to float it on. I don't want a thick layer, I want a thin layer. So when I want a thin layer of something, my brush is straight up and down because it's pulling off the gel as I'm applying it as opposed to being flat. If I keep my brush flat, it's going to gloss that stick it on and I'm going to have a much thicker layer. So I just want a thin layer of stick it. You don't need much. And there's a fuzz and a sparkle. Got it. All right, in you go. The bottled stick it, Heather, um, well, I ha it's got a thicker brush. So again, you would be applying more than I prefer. So I like it in the pot. I have a little bit more control. So I do have the bottled stick it available, the quick stick it in my store. So if you guys want to try the quick stick it, I have it available. But because I like to put this on really, really thin, typically a brush in a bottle is going to drop a bit more onto the nail than what I'm going for. I like to grab just a tiny little bit. There's a method to my madness. All right, done with that. And we are going to pick which one. Which one did you want? This, this one or this one? on the far one? side. This one? Yep. Okay. So we're going to pick this one, which has been popular. Huh. It's missing, missing some flowers. All right. So come on over. What I love about this one is see these little swirlies? They're so cool. All right, so you can pick a part and decide where you want it. And the trick of this is to start on one side of the nail and rub it and then work it to the other side to try to get as much of it. Ah, and I didn't do a very good job. But the nice thing is that it's forgiving. All right, so that's cute. And let's see. Let's do this part of this one. So I try to really push it in from one side to the other. There we go. See, look at that cool flower. The little swirlies. Love it. We'll do this bigger flower on this one. Just not all of it. We'll do part of it. We'll do this side of it. That's cool. And if you see the side that didn't get enough, you can always match it back up and add a little bit more, but look at that. I love those swirlies. She squealed. <laughs> Squealing's good sign. So much fun. Yeah, and I really like that these are clear base because they will let your color that your base is really shine through, which I like a lot. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll go big one again. Or we can do, yeah, let's do it in the top corner now. So let's go up here. 
And depending on how flat your nail is, it makes it a little easier to get it. But look how great that turned out. You can see the little swirlies and her flower. And if you see how it picks up in the light, it has that holographic bits to it, which are just really cool. I really like it. Those are so fun. She says they're so fun. I'm not supposed to put them in, right? Nope, those don't have to go in. They just get top coated. So we'll do another one of these big daisies. There it goes. So that was what I was focusing on. And now what I can do is come back and if I find any little swirlies, I can add it just on the edges where I want it. A little bit of green. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's kind of fun. I love this. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. So we are going to center this like that. There it is. Perfect. And so that's really what I was focusing on. And now I'm going to go through and place the flower. So it's kind of fun. I like to kind of mix it up a little bit. You can go exactly what's on the foil, but sometimes I like to mix it up and do a little bit different. All right, let's do this double one. Which way? Just like that. Okay, and rub it around, and it dropped it off really nice, but see there's no green on there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and there's a nice gap in the top. So I'm going to take this flower right here and add a little bit of green. It probably could use a little bit more stick it. And what you can do is you can stick it over your stick it. So if I'm done with this and I look at it and go, okay, I need a little bit in this spot, you can actually add a little bit more stick it where you want it and redo that spot and it's no problem. I love this foil. So pretty. All right, last one. Let's make it a good one. Sometimes it can be perfect, and sometimes it's not. Perfect. So cute. So Look cute. at that. Doesn't that turn out so nice? Thumbs are a little bit flatter, so it's a little bit easier to get it to um, take your whole design. So, all right, so I still have to have to decide if I really want, I think I really want this flat, uh, like a really good little thing. So I'm just gonna show you how you do that. So I'm just gonna add a good amount of stick it right there. And I'm gonna do a little bit in this corner too. And go ahead and put that in. It only needs, mm, I don't know, 20 seconds in the light. If that doesn't really need a whole heck of a lot. And then we'll come back out and I will just show you how you can just make it happen. So there's just a little bit of green. Here's a little leaf here that will work. There we go. Now I get a little bit of green in there and that's what I was going for. So I just want a little bit of, let's do the swirly green here. There we go. So all you have to do is just do a little extra stick it and life is good again. What do you think, my friend? So beautiful. She loves them. I really do. So then that you just go, fun. yeah. So then you just go straight over this with your gloss. Keep an eye on it. This isn't a full coverage um, foil application. So you typically don't have a lot of shrinking like you do with gloss over a full coverage application, but you wanna make sure that you're getting everything encapsulated well. So just double check. So pretty. Is there any any comments? Yeah. From the peanut How gallery. How did you cure the stick it? Oh, only like five ten seconds that second time. Yeah. Normally it's in there for I don't know about as long as it takes to get the first hand done. It doesn't take very long for it to stick super well. So this set, if you're wanting to get this specific set, see sometimes I freeze gloss because I. It runs down the sides, especially when you've got some good curves. All right, oopsies, nope. Fixing must have perfection if possible. 
I had a lecture with myself this week, this morning, actually, about the lack of perfection problems that I have sometimes. All right, in you go. Okay. Um, so this set uh, of these foils with all of these other ones, and they're really pretty. I mean, look at this purple one. We were debating if we we're going to do this almost one or not. Did the purple one. Yeah, we almost did the purple. It's got purple and green and turquoise, and it's a clear bag. So once you apply it, you get this really beautiful look, and then it's like, okay, well, what color? I mean, over white, you get these really stunning flowers. So mm -hmm. um, all of these are together in a set, and I think it's called Holo flower foil set or something like that so it's available online right now on lovenails.com lots of fun ones this one looks a little i feel like this one looks like stained glass mm -hmm. it has that kind of stained glass effect to it but so cool and so holographic so these are amazing i love them yeah, Stacey, you don't need to do the whole 30 seconds. I don't. Um, and I get perfectly fine adhesion for the most part. So, I mean, I I don't wait for the light for anything except for um, top coat. I make sure it's been in there long enough because otherwise you don't get your shine. But because I had a little bit of running the first time, I will flash these before I do her thumb for a hot second. Okay, flash for a hot second. Okay. What do you think, you guys? It's so pretty. There's a little speck in there that's missing, but it's kind of fun to have it be a little imperfect in a way. I don't know. I think it is. I like it when it's not super perfect, but this side could use a little bit more right there on the edge. So that's all I do there. Um... But yeah, it's really cool. I love good, I love me some good foils. All right, so that's Luxio Gloss, and that's done. Her other hand is completely cured now. Hello, lovely Erin, welcome. Here's our good squeak. So now, especially because I know my gloss was drifting to the side, it is imperative to take your file, which has no edges because you were very well behaved and took your edges off. And very carefully go along the side to smooth that gloss bit that ran on you. Along the edge, other side. Remember this one did it too. This is why we call this real world nails. She's got, I mean, as you can see, she's got a really fantastic C curve. And so getting a thicker coat of gloss on there. It's bound to happen sometimes. So pull this over from the side. Make sure that that's perfect as possible. To, I have to be very careful when I do this part with her because she has a high hyponychium. So when you have a client who has a high hyponychium, you want to make sure that you're not going to go zapping their skin. It's mostly the other hand that does it. Um, but anyway, that is the new foil. Oh, thanks, Kristen. Kristen liked my nails. I did a video this morning on how I did my nails with the lovely Shayla. So if you want to watch all that, you can. But anyway, that is that. I hope you guys enjoy the new um, holographic flower foils. They're so fun. And we'll catch you later. Bye.